Were you ever a member of the Gorilla Girls? If I were, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> Good. You invented three art critic personas that were writing uh, reviews about your work. Good reviews. Long before Cindy Sherman was inventing fictional personas, Lynn Hirschman Leeson had come up with an alter ego, in the person of the unfortunate blonde Roberta Brightmore. A persona played by the artist herself, wearing a weird wig and glasses. Roberta was a lowly woman in her twenties with a mysterious personality disorder. She had all the aspects of an actual existence, a job, a bank account, a driver's license and an apartment. To survive the male-dominated art world on her own terms, Lynn invented three fictional art critics. It's not just surviving, but surviving with uh, an intact philosophy of uh, what, you, what you want to represent. In the showroom of Paul van Est, the early works of Lynn Hirschman Leeson are exhibited. In her career, Lynn used a variety of media, drawing, painting, sculpture, film and even DNA shown in her upcoming exhibition Antibodies at Heck in Basel. Why does she use these materials? Because they're about survival. The DNA is about survival. The antibody is about survival. I was just playing with the idea of inversing and reversing the color. So if something was orangish, it became green. If something was blue, it became orange. Getting kind of the emotion in in through that reversal. There was one curator in San Francisco, her name was Sandra Phillips, who thought I was colorblind from the, from the San Francisco Museum of Art, who completely rejected my work and also talked other curators out of collecting it. I appreciate much more getting discovered at my age. <laughs> How? Well, one, you're not, I'm not in debt, <laughs> thanks to... <laughs> At a younger age, Lynn was eight months in the hospital, constantly attached to a breathing machine. After, she made this breathing machine sculpture with sound. In 1966, another sculpture made by Lynn was removed from the Berkeley Museum of Art. The work was removed from the exhibition because, uh, because it included sound and they thought it was not kind of appropriate for a museum. They, they didn't consider it to be art. So. No, they didn't. Uh, they thought that media was not art couldn't be art, so they just took it down without telling me. It's weird, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, uh, I, I do think that drawing is the key for all media. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if I'm making a film, I draw the script, and you take the characters, and they become a DNA strand. <laughs>